Hello guys, thank you for watching Melky here. I want to talk about something in Revelation that is pretty interesting. There's a lot of things that are interesting in chapter 21 and 22 of the Revelation. And one thing that is that could bother uh, people's mind is the, the word fear. If you read 21.8, 21 verse 8, uh, they, it says that people, people who are fearful will have their share in the burning sulfur or in the burning or in hell, right? And um, this is rather... This is this is something that could be used to say that oh Christianity and Judaism is 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 too far apart because in Proverbs um, wisdom comes from the fear of the Lord. It started by fear of the Lord, then you can get wisdom. And I just want to you know give a little give a little defense or apologia here it's not apology but apologia or a response um, I think this fear is really logical because uh, God is the spirit of truth right if you want to look more into it the spirit of reality um, is is the is um, what do you call it it's not reality itself but the spirit of reality, the spirit that wants to preserve reality. The creator of the world, of course, want to preserve reality. So in Christianity, God reveals himself as the spirit who is love, who is, you know, I express it as the, it's, it's, it, you, can, you, can, you can describe God with the inclination to keep on inclining forever, truthfully and wisely, truthfully. And it, it, it is distinct from regular reality or just the truth. The spirit of truth wants the truth to be lovely. Okay, so if you want to look more into it, please leave a comment in the comment below if you want to discuss more about that because there's a lot of points that could be discussed about that back to the to the fear part so because you you fear this creator this god that 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 um that the the the, the one who is responsible for the world um because you fear him uh, there's supposed to be no more room for you to fear things that are not lovely. To fear things that are not from God. Because when you fear things that are not from God, that fear could be allocated to God. God is a jealous God, remember. So if you worry about things that are not godly, that means that space could be, is is supposed to be, be belong to god you understand and you know the logic is like because for example in the future if i don't plan my finance finance well i could be having a financial difficulty so if i plan my finance well i could buy things that um that could sustain me like for a, for a long periods of time so the truth will be lovely to me um so that that would be the fear right you fear that the way god creates this world is that if you are being chaotic right because the truth is the property against chaos right the truth the logic of the sequences of reality is uh, is the property or the it it's holy it shuns away it shuns away chaos the 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 sequences is fixed right so it rejects things um, that are not logical right so things that are not logical cannot be historical right so that's um, so if you fear 
the spirit that is responsible for that, right? You would obtain wisdom because you would plan ahead, for example. You would notice things that are dangerous, for example. You would notice things that are hated by love itself, things that are not lovely, things that are evil, things that would make you depressed, things that will uh, leads you to depression, things that will lead you to not liking life, things that will lead you to to stuff that will make you hate people or uh, <laughs> it's complicated but things that will make you not lovely um, things will make the truth for you uh, appears as uh, evil um, things will that will make you lie all the time which will render you in 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 collision course with the truth all the time so you would become less relevant less relevant less relevant right so that if you fear that enough you would you're supposed to not have any more fear for other things that's the logic here so that's i mean people are not people are are keep on improving which means there's there's still there's always room to improve let's not be a hypocritical and say oh i am i am i am i don't i am already i already mastered it i am the elite the master of being brave there's like i think you know let's not go there let's have let's let's understand that let's talk about room for improvement right so we are the the one who needs the 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 doctor is the one who is sick that that is what jesus says so always have a room for improvement like a little child like if you cannot be like a little child anymore that you thought like oh i cannot grow anymore i don't need to be perfect anymore like, I, I don't need to aim to be perfect anymore uh not no or i cannot I cannot move forward anymore. I'm too old. I cannot improve myself anymore. That 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 is when the problem also comes. So um, there are a lot of ways that 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 fear could lead you to sin, but but be but if you are comfortable of being a coward, and you are proud of being a coward. Um, <laughs> And when you say I'm doing a business, I have a house credit, and I don't I don't have time to be a to be a to be a, a tough guy. Like okay, because I am I am a working I'm a salaryman. I am a professional. I want to focus on my family and stuff. Cool, right? That that is nice. But pay attention about your coward cowardness. Because there are, there, are, <laughs> there are different cowardice, there are different types of being cowardly. Because uh, is by being a coward, you would, you would make this evil decision? Or is by being a coward, you would plan ahead well? Because that usually mixed up together. And you should be even more cowardly right you are not coward enough you are not a coward enough you are too brave against god in well in another point of view you are too cowardly you are you you are not you are not training yourself you don't want to be perfect you don't want to you would you don't want to be wise you are not you are not cowardly enough so that is where the confusion is i hope you guys could understand the nuances. Thank you. Goodbye.